Okay, so in the last step, we set up the contact page. The last thing we're going to do is go to our blog page. Now here we've got a quite ugly blue banner. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this header onto our blog page. So we're going to go into the about page. And we're going to copy the whole of this section, full width section with a full width slider in. Now we could just go to pages and navigate that way, but we're going to do this. So we go to blog, edit page. So I've actually got a full width header on this one. So we're just going to go we'll delete that one. And we're going to paste. So we just drag it up to the top. So this is the slider. We just have one slide. PT Trainers blog. Fitness tips and tricks. And our new blog. So blogging's good for SEO, interacting with your clients, it gets people coming back to your website. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a good thing to do. So we'll save that, save that preview. So we've got the blog. This is the blog post that has been added by SiteGround, and this is the sidebar. So we'll show you where you can edit your sidebar first. So if we go into widgets, here is your sidebar. If you on the front. It has, um, this is what's on there at the minute, most of these you don't need. So you can drag to inactive, or you can just go in and delete them. So you don't have, there's only one blog post. I'm not sure if there's any comments, I don't think there's any to show at the moment. So, latest posts, we'll set that to 10, save, save, and then you can just drag any of these widgets onto your sidebar. We're going to leave leave that as it is for now. So it's just got search. It will show your latest posts and latest comments. So if you go into posts, we just have one post here. So we're going to add a new one. Similar to pages, um, you can use the page builder as well on your posts. I tend to just leave them as standard layout. So we have a new website. This is text like that. So the excerpt, excerpt 
is what will display on the um, the blog page. So you want to put a short intro, something like that. We'll do this just so you can see. that's going to go so you've got your content you can add images and media you can upload add from the library that you already have here you can align you can choose where to link to I usually just put it as none you can choose the size and there we go on the right hand side you can tag so you might want to tag um, healthy eating training whatever you want and the category we've only got one so we're gonna add a new category training tips now the this one's quite handy if you want to schedule your post so say you want to have one post going out a week but you want to just sit down a few hours and write the whole month's posts you can write four posts and you can change the date when it's going to be published in the future so that's very handy uh, this one we're just going to publish it straight away so <clears throat> if we go into the front end go to the blog here is our latest blog post uh, I forgot to save the header that we added so we need to update that one with a new header so yeah, that's the thing with uh, so you when you preview changes it's uh, quicker than saving than updating but you have to remember when you when you've finished everything hit the update button so now if we go back to this one and refresh it it should have the blog that we just the header that we added here we can see the sidebar that we changed under widgets so it's got latest posts there's only two posts but that will be that will list your latest 10 posts that we set it to same with comments. So here the excerpt. See it has this. So this is the excerpt excerpt that we added. It's got your this is your username, the date, and this is the category that it's in. So you click on we have a website. Here's your post. Pick and leave a comment. And that's your site done. Now there's um, there's obviously a million and one different options uh, within Divi, within WordPress itself. And the best way to learn is really just to to go in, start editing, start trying different things out. If you get stuck, there's a huge amount of help online from the elegant themes forum for Divi specific help there's quite a few Facebook groups set up for Divi and WordPress in general again there's there's a lot of resources available and I will put in some links to these on the resources page